Jerry Connor selling a yard without having the deeds. On that yard when I got all the paperwork of that yard. With six six brothers' names on. Six brothers' names names on it, yeah. And I dick and when I listen when I I never told that man nothing, right? The man that's wrong me, he's on a holiday, nothing got to do with him. But listen, all I'm saying, Jerry, you had an agreement with Dickens. You're done, you're, you're, li you're lying, mate. The agreement was Dickens was with mine in his name, Johnny in his, and that's it. The man paid me for the ground. And I tell you now, I don't care if it's a million men to my yard, there's not one penny getting give back. It's gone, dusted. Dead simple. That's it, done. done. Look, just give the man his ground where he bought me, and I'll take dead simple. And if it's... You don't know what were you sorting it out? Go on, what were you sorting it out? I, I, you know what it is. You'll see here, So why are you Reggie's name then? Nothing to do with the man. You know, you know all the messages you left, you're sending the most rotten people that you can find to send in. That's who you must you must you must try to find the, the most rotten people. Then people are that chap who's very simple to me, I was very simple to him on the phone. I don't argue with people, Jerry. I don't be up and down phones out nice. phone wars. I don't be doing that. Yeah, but you told you you, you you your brother told me he told yeah. When people come in and threaten us that they're going to ram us and cut us, we'll see who's going to be locked up. Jim. But why are you threatening right. Reggie and there's nothing to do with Reggie? Nothing. I know Reggie all my life from a child made. Hey? And now his nephew telling him he can't sell what he doesn't own. Right, this is going to a message going to little baldy Jerry, Befetic Jerry Connors from Wakefield, a fellow with not a Siberian sausage to rub together. Him and his sons are a pack of wasters. Mongols, I don't know what to call them. All right? Jer Jerry, you've been doing satanic attacks for the last 12 months. You tortured the people over there in Wakefield. You're getting the people in jail. Cause you, you, because at first I thought it was wrong what the people done to James, but I can only imagine what they're going through. With the mental torture you put me and my family through in the last six months, when there's big old problems going on, there was deaths in the family and on, it, was still, it still wasn't stopping you. It wasn't giving you a moment to think. Wait, well, I may, may, I may give these people 12 minute, 12 month break or something. No, the satanic attacks kept coming, kept coming. He keeps on about a yard. You push on about money that they, they, this fella got and that fella. No one belonged to be grand. Up. No one cares, Jerry. Everybody have plenty of money. No one don't need any money. The only people need a person that needs money is you, you and your sons. You went and got your son Felix, because he run the marathon. Those chaps trained to death. You went and got him. They come out and fight me the other day and got me and Bridges boys to show me fair play. I punched the face off him in seconds. He went down one knee. I, I took him into the ditches. When he got out, he, he tried to bite me air and tried to hit me an out kick and said he didn't want to fight fair. He wanted a dirty go. I wanted on in. I had to beg the boys. I, I told me and Bridges John and, and a little fat boy. I said, please, I'm begging of you boys. Let me finish him now, I said. Because now you want a dirty go, sir, because I knew I was, I was too strong for him. I was too healthy. I was too, uh, I was bouncing. And he was there like a big old dead chicken. I was going to get his head and I was going to put my two fingers in the back of his eyes and I was going to leave him blind walking around the place and I was going to send him back to his daddy but it wasn't allowed so he, he, he got a pardon that time and he got, he got sent back to his daddy bet to death and Uncle Jerry wouldn't stop then he thought in his own mind bollocks now my big great white hope has been bet to death then you've been threatening people you're on about this man's name that man's name keep on about people's coming in I'm going to get the baddest man to come in and take that yard because you can't pay your bill you pay my Uncle Dickens his money and get your deed signed it over and it's all said and done. That has nothing to do with me. But there's one thing that is something to do with me. My daddy's getting out of it. He's nearly 70 years of age. I mean, mummy. You're sending fellas in and leaning and putting pressure on him. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Jerry, and I'm going to put a fret on this because you know I don't do frets. I just comes over and gives people maidens. I'm going to give you, because you're not my uncle anymore. I've, that's it. The gloves is off, mate. Soon as I see you, I'm knocking you straight out. Your son, Felix, the queer, He's getting a baiting. William, where do I go with William? I'm going to grab William when he's in the woolly branch and my children's off going to walk him around like a dog. Yeah? Oh, James, God, I, I wouldn't even argue with him. Jeremiah, all you have to do is send him into a crack house. I don't need to end to any more conversations. This let you know it's on. So everybody knows the story. Jerry Connors maced his brother out of money. Yeah? And because he ain't got the money to pay him back, he thinks he can get people to go in and, and, and get that for free. Don't work like that. It's in 2024. It's, back, it's not back in the 1960s where gangs of people can come down and bully people. Now, jury, baldy, smackhead jury from Wakefield. It is on. Keep your guard up because wherever you're seen, you're not allowed no funerals, no weddings, nothing. I'm, no fears. I'm going to everything. 
around Yorkshire and everywhere else, and the first time I see you or any of your sons, I am going to break your two eye sockets for you. And me children's off, I'm giving you the worst bait in you. I was going out to America, I'm not going to America now. I'm fighting fit. I've been training there for the last five months. I'm super fit and I'm ready to go in the morning. For you or any of your sons, I'll fight the fleet of yous. The whole lot of yous, one after the other, and I'll slap yous to death and I'll put you down video. Because in my mother's life, I am fighting fit and I'm ready to go, you little backward waste of a man. Every time you get drunk and drugged up, you send a voice note. You fucking piece of shit. You absolutely dosser. You ain't got a washer to your name. All you're good for is Mason, oh, oh people married into you, uh, Isabel. Keep Mason the people out of four or five in the pound and then uh, try and make them laugh at the people. The people are not, not worried about the four or five in the pound you keep Mason about, about Vans and Yorks. The people aren't worried about that. They're more, I'm having a more better laugh at you. I think of the idea to put it over. They're actually giving you a charity, you backward fool. You're a sh you're met a shove up down the country. He keeps on about this and not actually have money and not a You ain't got no money. You had a chance to pay 25 grand to, 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 to Dickens. You can't even get that. Get me a money to get it together. You can get that together, could you? You dirty dosser. People's got loads of yards. I've got loads of yards. I'm not, not talking about I ain't got loads of yards. I'm no yard. I have a couple of scrap yards. But I'll tell you one thing. A big man your age. To go, and, go up and down and make a holy show of yourself, like a big, dirty, smelly dosser. You and your backward sons, just keep your guard up, because in my children's life, I am smashing this. And now to clear up who he's really on about. Just want to make one thing clear. Your man, Reggie Ward, uh, name was mentioned. It was nothing to do with that chap. It was his cousin, Douglas, a completely different human being. Um... Obviously, a photograph, he's, I don't even know how his name got involved. A fella said that was him at up and down. It wasn't nothing to do with the chap. Chap's out in Dubai with his wife and children on holiday. Completely different human being. It was uh, his cousin did uh, Milk and Jerry, uh, sold the yard there. And uh, obviously, he sold the yard with no deeds and don't belong to him. When he pays, when he pays Dickens, the chap can have his yard. So what, did, what Jerry have to do is get the chap's deeds and give it to the chap. And I wish the chap the best of luck with us. Because it's nothing to do with me, the whole lot of it. I've got my own life to live. And the last thing I want to do is be arguing. But the last thing I want is my old daddy and mummy to be stressed out and, and tormented over this. So, <coughs> Jerry, get the chap the deeds for his yard that you sold him. Uh, uh, Douglas Ward. And, um, yeah, get it sorted. Jerry Connors from Wakefield. Little baldy Jerry, I'm going to call you. Please like and subscribe to help me make more videos.